rise and shine. It's like 7.30. We're trying to get up earlier. We've been sleeping until like 8.39, which is really late for us, but great night's sleep. Listening to Lake Superior right there. Uh, the waves crash. It was really good. It rained, of course. Uh, it's rained every day and every night so far, so what can you do? But it's fine. Tarps are holding up. Um, we're going to get up, get going, crush it to Lake Livermore, and do some lake fishing. All right. Coffee's going. Oatmeal's going. Another fifth day of breakfast skillet for you. It's the best. <laughs> after, after this trip, I'll have to go to oatmeal or something because I'm out. Oh, you're out of breakfast skillet. I'll have to order more or switch to oatmeal. Oh, I'm shit. definitely not eating oatmeal. He's definitely did so. He's ordering more. Maybe some eggs and bacon. Yeah, and does, is there an eggs and ham one? Yeah. So today's plan is we got up at 7.30, which is pretty early for us, and get everything going and hike the 6.6 uh, .6 miles back to McCargo Cove and then another just under three from McCargo Cove to Chicken Bone and then we're gonna set up set up camp and then kind of take a half mile day hike to Lake Livermore and fish there all day. So lake fishing today. Watch out walleye, right? Is that what we fish for in the lakes? Walleye and pike, we'll see. And hopefully that lake is right next to a lake that has an algae bloom. So we're hoping that it's okay. It was okay as of two days ago. So we will find out. Well, we just climbed back up on the Minong on our way back to Chicken Bone. And uh, we're on the ridge again, which is sweet. Um, a group in front of us saw a bunch of moose, but of course, Kevin and I aren't lucky enough. No moose. No moose for us yet. All right, up on the Minong Ridge, that's a good shot of Otter Lake down there. And we passed this yesterday, but today... Much less overcast, less windy. It's much nicer, and it doesn't look like there's rain. You just kind of see, probably through the camera, the cliffs from Canada. Yeah. It's really nice up here. And you're kind of ridge walking for a while on this. But it's not bad. It's not wet. And for the first time in days, our shoes and socks are dry. Yeah, it's awesome. Which is awesome. All right, on to McCargo. We're like uh, two or three miles from McCargo Cove. All right, so we made it here to West Chicken Bone. A really nice campsite. Too bad there's blight blight here so you can't touch the water but the uh, campsites here are all really nice and we've heard that um, West Chicken Bone is much better than East Chicken Bone so we kind of busted it and we got to, we got here it was just under nine miles and we got here at like 12:30. so we're having a quick cup of coffee and some spaghetti and then we are gonna hightail it out of here to um, Lake Livermore which is half a mile away um, obviously just take the fishing stuff and some other stuff and fish there for most of the day and hopefully have some better luck on the inland lakes but we got some nice porch modes going and it's pretty nice uh, it's cooled down though it's in the 50s and it's windy so time for some coffee so about 25 minutes and one mile later we've made it to Lake Livermore non blighted lake and check it out so this should be pretty good it's open. We can meander around the shore, throw some lines in. At least we got a nice open spot right here. It looks like there's paths that go around through there. You want to set up shop right here and move around? This is it though, Lake Livermore. Really pretty. Andy's getting ready to take this to the next level. He's going in. And if he starts reeling shit out of the water, I'm going in too. He's got his socks tucked into his pants, or his pants tucked into his socks for leech protection. And we're gonna take the game to the fish. All right, so second cast in. Got a nice uh, northern there, and it's heavy as sh it's heavy. Uh, it's stuck on the reeds. Andy is uh, 
And he's in charge of these kinds of operations. <laughs> Dude, it hit immediately. It's the fire tiger. It's not the, it's not the spoon. It's the fire tiger topwater. Oh yeah. That's a pretty fish. Now, now, now what do you do? <laughs> do you want to walk it back over? We're going to have to have a little collection area. Oh sh I'm in fire ant hole. All right. Number two, getting them with the fire tiger. That's a pretty one. And I'm stepping, I'm standing in some sort of fire ant mound. So I'm getting out of here. So this is interesting. Something took a big chunk out of him right here. Nice sized fish though. Well, we're definitely eating fish tonight. All right, Andy hooked another one. It snagged. He, he ran around some. But you still got him? Yeah, he's still on Nice. And I'm getting in the water. This is bush league from the shore. It's either ants or water, and I'm taking water. Water wins that fight every day. There he is, look at that. Oh, that's a big sucker. Oh yeah, get him. That's fine. Inland lakes, no minimum size limit. God, they really do flop out of there. Well, that's a tiny one. Yeah, that's. Let him go. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean. They're hitting left and right. Well, hold him up. All right, we are. He is a generous god. That's a tiny one. All right, puck number two for Andy. That's definitely worth eating. Nice. They're hitting like crazy. All right, and pike number three for Andy in the last five minutes. Oh, no, oh, still counts. We'll put it on the screen. <laughs> All right, so Lake Livermore is hitting like crazy. I'm getting in, stashing the GoPro on deck. We've already got a couple we've caught. One's tied up, ready to eat. It's time to get serious, and it's it's not even three. Uh oh, wow. hey oh. So we we walked along this ridge for about an hour. We couldn't film. We just couldn't film anything because everything's wet. But Andy caught probably ten pike, and I probably caught four or five. So I think the numbers are evened up. Um, they're all pretty small. Um, so we're definitely cooking this guy. And we're gonna snag a couple more. There's no minimum here, so we could have kept all the little ones, but we didn't. So we're gonna try and, we probably caught 15 pike here in an hour or two. So I unknowingly took a little swim, a little spill. So Andy's going back at it, uh, try and grab another one or two. And then uh, we're, we're eating fresh fish tonight regardless, which is awesome. All right, we got another, we got another eater. Nice, nice, nice. Don't lose it. That's a good one. They're much bigger on this side. They're a lot smaller over there. I'm sitting here shirtless like some hill jack. Nice. He <laughs> will cook nicely. Nice. Not quite as big as mine. Uh. <laughs> Oh, 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 dinner fish number three. Oh, that's oh. actually a big fish. Oh. oh, nice one, dude. Nice. Oh, God, that thing is huge. <laughs> like, I was literally just set the lure down in the water to start walking out there, and it took it right when I just set the lure in the water because I was going to walk out. We're going to be feasting tonight. Damn, that's a solid, what, two, three pounds of fish? Yeah. At least. There's so many bones in a pike, so they're tough to fillet out really nicely. But we need them in chunks anyways. But I did, I've got a, a couple big whole fillets here that we're going to wrap in, in uh, tin foil and butter. And the rest we're going to bread. Nice. Put it in the skillet. In the skillet. Fresh food tonight. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous afternoon at Lake Livermore. It's really pretty. No leeches. And he didn't have any leeches. 
that he knows of. Gotta I had off. two. I'm still bleeding from it. Those suckers do not want to clot. Uh, we're wrapping up here. It's almost five and time to go home, get some dry clothes on and have a fish fry. All right, I'm just sitting here, just laughing. Look at all this food. That's easily three to five pounds of pike meat. Pike? I mean, we got a tiny little stone. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. Man, pike. that's a lot of food. That's awesome. I am, after five days of backpacking food, I am ready to eat some pike. And look at the seasoning packet we've got. Oh. So happy. And we've got the uh, firebox grill. Is it ready to go? So, we eating, we eating pike tonight. All right, so the first installment of pike tonight is instead of filleting out the pike completely, I scaled it and then I've got just the cavity there. This will be filled with bones, but we're gonna eat around them. So, I'm actually going to cover this with garlic, basil, salt Ooh. on the inside and out, and then it's gonna get stuffed with butter. Oh. It's got the garlic, uh, basil, salt, and then it's just packed with uh, There's like with what, butter. a third of a stick of butter in there? Yeah, we had a lot of butter, so I needed to use it, so. So it's gonna get rolled up, yep. and we are gonna light the firebox grill is ready to go, and then we will check back in. For pike, pike first course. It's going. Oh, I can hear it sizzling. Man. That butter. That dude, that thing is just getting flamed right now. That's good. It needs a lot of heat. Oh, it's done. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm gonna try to take it off the bone. Oh wow! It just comes right off. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, is that the bone? Yeah. Watch so it's this. a Y bone. Yeah. There's Oh, look at that, it came right out. Oh, nice. Nice, dude. Now you don't have to deal with the bone. Nice, all right. Next round. Next round's coming up. Wow, look at that. The next round is we've taken the rest of the fish and we've breaded it in corn muffin mix or cornmeal. Yeah, corn muffin mix, yeah. Corn muffin mix, and we're gonna put it in skillet and throw it on here and fry it up pan sear it up and mm. olive oil. oh man and i must tell you that that one we just ate which was a lot of food for a medium that was the small one for a small size fish that was a decent amount of food oh, yeah. um and it was very good oh man you ready for this yeah. In there, you got to do with so much fish. Yeah, and you're gonna need some oil in there. Yeah, for sure. Put one more piece in there. Oh, oh, oh. Sticking. It's so quick. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Good cold. Yeah. There's probably two, two or three more skillets worth. Let's do one with butter. Well, we can do one with butter. And oh yeah, oil. you're right. Let's load it. Let's load it in here. Oh, this is just so good. Yeah, it's really nice chicken that one. The breaded in the corn is. Excellent. Some bones right here. This big piece is gonna be bony. That's all right. Split it in half. Get ready to put it in. I'll, I'll load the coals back up. Yeah, we need more fuel. All right, round three. This is actually like oh. five. I'm so full. I'm so full too. <laughs> So much more. <laughs> yeah, we were like, like I wonder if we're gonna cook our actual dinners tonight. And we've each probably eaten a pound and a half of fish. <laughs> There's more. 
<laughs> There's more to go. Two fish would have been plenty. Is that done? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That's the way to do this, not the skillet. Foil. Yeah. It's like a mash. Oh, so much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well there you have it. Living off the land tonight. Oh, it smells so good. It's just breaded and cornbread mix. Oh, and there's butter. Oh, it's so good. Alright, good morning. It's Thursday. We have 12 and a half, 13 miles to do today to get to 3 mile to set ourselves up so that we can catch the ferry tomorrow. It's 48 degrees, so it is cold morning here at Isle Royal. But uh, the loons are keeping us awake. But anyways, we're going to get up, get some coffee going, get some breakfast going, and get this day started. All right, so we got coffee. We got more breakfast skillet, big breakfast skillet portion. Andy's got more breakfast skillet. Double portion. Ooh, that almost fell over. That could have been terrible. So today we're gonna hike along Greenstone. The first day we've really been on the Greenstone. It was the last full day of hiking. Um, take that a ways east, all the way to Three Mile, and camp there for the night. And we're gonna actually hike like normal people today and not bust it out to get fishing so we're gonna stop for lunch maybe stop for coffee and uh, it's like 12 and a half miles so it'll take us most of the day to get there but it should be nice it's just cold cold today smelled breakfast we had a little visitor come in oh he's he's fast Andy was just uh, pouring water into his breakfast skillet and just looked over and there was a quite a big rabbit <laughs> staring at him. He, he wants some breakfast Here, give me a little more. Do you have some? Yeah. Yeah, who doesn't want breakfast skillet? Alright, that's good. They're probably used to eating people's scraps. So we're all packed up here. We uh, are packing in true homeless fashion with clothes lashed all of the outside of our packs because everything's wet from yesterday and nothing dried out overnight. So uh, we're back into cold, wet socks and shoes, which sucks, but it should dry out. We're gonna be on the ridge the whole day today, so it should be fairly dry and we should dry out, but we gotta hike up to the Greenstone and then we'll be on the Greenstone for, I think, 10 to 12 miles and then hike a couple miles off the Greenstone, so I think just under 13 for the day. Then we'll take a, we're cold soaking food for lunch, so we'll take an actual lunch stop, have some coffee, and we should get into camp by, I don't know, four, probably. We'll see. All right, so making our way along this trail. And this is a good shot on the ridge looking over the south side of the island. Looking out, like Rock Harbor is that away. But it's nice. It's really nice up on this ridge. I can see why people prefer this over the other trails. It's dry, it's not too, it was a hike getting up here, but it's pretty, pretty flat once you get up here and you get really nice views looking over both sides. Gaining elevation on the greenstone. Oh, look at this. It's a good, view of the south side of the island. We're just making our way up, up, up this ridge. Along this. It just goes. Coming up on, I think call it Mount Ojibwe. I don't know, it's the fire lookout tower. Uh, the only one on the island. So, you know we're getting to the highest point when you start seeing this. Um, and then about two and a half miles down the trail is Mount something. Uh, that's the highest point. So we're almost there. But up on this ridge, man, you can see everything. That's pretty cool. 
Got some solar panels. There's a good shot. Oh, you can go up it. That's cool. Mount Franklin, that's what it's called. That's where we're going. I think so. That's cool. What's that? Nice crossing today. Yeah. Yeah, hope it's like that tomorrow. It's cool. It's really calm out there. So we're like a mile and a half from three mile. Andy's getting the itch. We're getting the itch. Throw a couple spoons in, there. Couple spoons in there. And there's a beaver dam right there. Beaver hut. Beaver hut, whatever. This is cool. I don't know what this is called. I don't even know if this has a name because it's that small. Consider throwing a line in. I'm still full from the three pounds we ate last night. I cannot, cannot get enough of these pine forests. It's unlike anything I've ever hiked in. It's so pretty. So much different than the Midwest. It's, you know, only a 10 to 12 hour drive. But we are about a half mile from the campsite, and uh, we're ready to be done hiking. It was pretty rocky and muddy today, but we will uh, set up shop. We got more of this. We will set up shop when we get there, and hopefully get a good campsite. Wow, it's gorgeous. Yeah. This whole trail, this whole trail has been beautiful. Coming down from Mount Franklin to uh, Three Mile, gorgeous. Oh, there's a loon. Three Mile has fantastic um, tent sites there all along the water. So we might be we might be hanging here and here and have a a morning view of Lake Superior. And then we have our picnic table and there's also hanging options there. Yeah, so this is campsite number seven for all you hammock campers. You could put a couple hammocks here easily. It's gorgeous. If the waves get high, you're going to get hit. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Alright, things are looking up here. As we finally get camp going, and I got some semi-clean clothes on, and I washed my feet so they're not too terrible. Got some gray hangs here. You got me, Andy, right on the shore of Lake Superior. So... Just hear those waves crash all night. It's really nice. So this is campsite number seven at the Three Mile Campground, and it's packed campground. I mean, everyone, basically everyone is coming out on the boat together tomorrow, so everyone's staying within striking distance of Rock Harbor. So we were lucky. We got here at like four and snagged one of the last uh, like nice camp spots. So we're gonna keep delousing and getting clean, and then. Get some dinner fired up, but it's a really nice night here. Probably the nicest weather we've had, figures, on our last day. As is tradition, the the um, the, the last night we try and eat as much of our food as possible. So <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> 
So I'll be having a massive barbecue pasta. Uh, Andy's having a huge ration of what? Easy Mac. With, with uh, buffalo chicken in it. Yeah. Cracking into the summer sausage that I have a ton left of. The pepperoni. And the, and the pepperoni log, and we got extra beef jerky. So our intestines are gonna love us after we eat all this. But we try and eat as much of our food as possible, so we have to carry it out the final morning. Then tomorrow, after breakfast, we're gonna go into town and have real person, real real people food. All right, it is almost eight. We're winding things down here. It's got freaking cold outside. Um, we're gonna do some things, do some night errands, and then crawl in. And I've been watching Ozark on Netflix, which I highly recommend. I pre-downloaded them, and Andy's gonna listen to some podcasts in a little bit. It, it gets cold out here at night. Um, and tomorrow morning, we've got a quick little three mile hike in from three mile to Rock Harbor and we're gonna try and get in um, so we can go have lunch at the restaurant and grab a craft beer because we're both craving that. And then our ferry uh, leaves the island at 2.45 so the final night on the island, sad, back to reality.